So on May 19th, AMS was installed on the space station at 5 a.m. After four hours of intensive check, we decided to take data. And what made this possible is the lady behind the picture. And Senator Hutchinson come to visit us with, with the control center with uh, Captain Mark Kelly. And here shows in your control room the location of the space station and the particles passing through. And Senator Hutchinson is the one who made this possible. On the, in the Scientific America in May, and there's a little description of AMS. In eight months, we have collected over 10 billion cosmic ray events. It, because the detector is so large, it's about the size of your table. And because there's so many precision instruments, after all, it takes $2 billion to build it. So this is the, you know, the, the blue line is the event collected. <clears throat> the green line is the event reconstructed, meaning the signal goes through, you can put them together. So the detector functions perfectly. So the first data from AMS and detector performance. The detector form, perform, detector functions exactly as designed, and in eight months, we have collected 10 billion charged cosmic rays. And this is uh, about 10 times more than the charged cosmic ray collect previously collected combined. Every year, we will collect 16 billion charged cosmic rays, and in the next 10 to 20 years, we'll collect a few hundred billion charged cosmic rays. And this will provide a very precise search for new physics. One of the physics is the, ser the search for origin of dark matter. We heard yesterday, 90% of the matter in the universe is not observable. Because it's not observable, we call it dark matter. A galaxy as seen by telescope look like this. But if you can see the other 90%, the galaxy may look like so. Cosmic rays consists of protons, electrons, and helium, and so forth. Collision of cosmic rays will produce positrons. How to search for origin of dark matter? Collision of dark matter will produce additional positrons. And these additional positrons can be measured very accurately by AMS. The leading candidate for dark matter is called neutralino. The collision of neutralino will produce excess in the spectra of positrons different from collision of ordinary cosmic rays. So if you look at the positron production, compare with the positron energy, then this will be the contribution from ordinary cosmic ray collision. And this deviation shows you have understood the origin of 90% of the matter. Another physics goal of AMS is to search for antimatter universe. We all know the universe began with the Big Bang. So after the Big Bang, there should have been equal amount of matter and antimatter. AMS on the space station for 10 to 20 years will search for the existence of antimatter to the age of observable universe. Now, in order to search for antimatter, you better make sure your detector is sensitive to ordinary matter. And so this is the measurement, a very simple measurement of the periodic table in space. And once you know this, you know you can measure the antimatter part. Let me share with you my understanding of discoveries in physics. When I start doing physics, the highest energy accelerator is a 30 billion electron volt proton accelerator in Brookhaven. The original purpose, the expert's opinion, is to study nuclear force. The discovery with precision instrument is 
two types of neutrinos break down time reversal symmetry a new form of matter. That's the one. The all three were given Nobel Prize. The last one is from me. For the 400 GeV proton accelerator and Fermi National Laboratory, the original purpose, the expert's opinion, is to study neutrino physics. What was discovered was the fifth and sixth type of quark. The electron positron collider at Stanford, the original purpose to study property of quantum electricity. What was discovered is the quarks inside proton, fourth family of quarks, and third type of electron. The large electron positron collider in Hamburg, the original purpose was to look at the six, quark, six type of quarks. What was discovered was the gluons carry the forces among quarks. The large underground cave in Japan Originally, it was to look for lifetime of proton. What was discovered when neutrino has mass? Even the Hubble telescope, the original purpose was to do galactic survey. And what was discovered was the flat coverage of universe and the existence of dark energy. So when you build a new facility, you ask what's leading expert to see what you can do. And when you, do a, when you have a major discovery, it never has anything to do with its original purpose. <laughs> the reason, if you think about it, it's very simple. Because expert's opinion is based on existing knowledge. What you want to do is to jump ahead of the existing knowledge. So exploring new territory with a precision instrument is a key to discovery. And this is the main reason why you want a, such a precise detector. So Cosmos is the ultimate laboratory. Cosmic ray can be observed at energies higher than any accelerator. So the most exciting objective of AMS is to probe the unknown, to search for phenomena which exist in nature that we have not yet imagined nor had the tool to discover. Finally, let me mention, on behalf of the AMS collaboration, I want to thank Senator Hutchinson for her leadership and support which made AMS a reality. In the next 10 to 20 years, AMS will provide us with a deeper understanding of our universe. Thank you. <laughs>